The victory speech is one of my favorite exercises because you're looking at an impossible situation. It could be with your boss, it could be with your roommate, or it could be a, you know, an international conflict, but you're looking at something seemingly impossible. It's kind of like, you know, I like to climb mountains. You know, you're at the bottom of the mountain, you look at the top of the mountain and it seems impossible to get there. You can't get from here to there in your mind, but you might be able, if you use your imagination, put yourself on top of the mountain, get from there to here, and then you can figure out your way back. Hmm. In other words, you can work backwards. And that's, that's what is behind the victory speech, which is when you're facing a difficult conflict, start by writing out the other side's victory speech. Imagine you're asking your boss for something or what, you know, it might be a situation. And you write out, what is it you imagine, just as a thought experiment, imagine your boss says yes to you. They accept what you want them to do. They say, yeah. Now imagine your boss then has to go and justify that to someone else whom he cares about. Maybe his board of directors, maybe his peers or her peers. Mm -hmm. Write out the victory suite. Just write out maybe three talking points. Like how could they present to the people that they care about why they said yes to your proposal? It's got to be a victory for them. It can be a victory for you, obviously, because they're doing Mm -hmm. what you want them to do. But think about it. And think about the hardest questions that they're going to get, the criticisms that they're going to receive, and then think about what are the best answers they can give. Go through that exercise and then see your job as a negotiator as helping them deliver that victory speech. Mm. And I can tell you about how I've used it, but that's that's the essence of it is to to work backwards, think about what victory would look like, and then work forwards. 